do it. First place is Sierra Boussard. Good morning, Monolai High School. I'm Jake. And I'm Kimmy. That opening was this year's variety show winner, Sierra Bouchard. We know it's been a while since Sierra won, but this was the first chance we got to showcase her act. DVDs are still available of the show, and see Mr. Meister if you are interested. Stay tuned to Future Friday Focus for a peek at a couple of other acts. Attention athletes, anyone interested in playing baseball this spring, there will be an informational meeting Tuesday, December 12th at 3.30 in the auditorium. Please email Coach Lerner if you are not able to make the meeting. If girls lacrosse is more your thing, there will be an informational meeting next Wednesday, December 13th at 3.30 p.m. in room C203. This is a mandatory meeting for anyone interested in playing girls lacrosse this spring. All athletes are welcome to lax with us. No playing experience required. Questions or conflicts? Contact Coach Gully. Hey, did you know that the tree lighting ceremony was this weekend? No, I thought it was on the 15th. Well, for any of others of you who missed who missed it? Our Friday focus, focus reporter Abby Ambrose was there and brought back the story. Although it may not feel like it, Christmas time is right around the corner here in Mundelein, and there's no better way to kick off the holiday season than with our annual tree lighting. Although you wouldn't guess by the name, this Mundelein tradition involves a lot more than just lighting a Christmas tree. The event is a Mundelein classic, with hundreds of community members attending every year. I decided to come here because I come here every year. It just shows me what the holiday season is about, which is coming together and celebrating. The tree lighting ceremony also serves as a great opportunity for those looking to help out their town. I love volunteering during the holiday season because I love giving back to my community. I love seeing the community come together and all the kids around here having fun and having their hot chocolates. Really special experience for me. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about this Mondelein tradition. And if you didn't end up going, we hope to see you there next year. Thanks for that story, Abby. Asian Culture Club will be having its holiday party on Monday, December 11th. Remember to bring your gifts to swap. And while we're on the topic about gifts, this would be a really good time to talk about this year's Toys for Tots initiative this year at MHS. You always walk past this box and wonder what's in the box or who puts things in the box. Well, you can put things in the box because this box is Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots is a program run by the U.S. Marine Corps, which distributes toys to children whose parents cannot afford to buy them gifts this Christmas. Mundelein has been privileged enough to participate in Toys for Tots this year. Students, teachers, and families can donate to Toys for Tots here at MHS. Toys for Tots is a program founded in 1947 by Major Bill and Diane Hendricks, who wanted to provide gifts for children who are not as fortunate. One year later, it became a nationwide program. The first year, they collected 7,000 toys, to last year, where they collected over 16 million. And it only continues to grow. Here at Mundelein, Toys for Tots is organized by Mr. Buck, and we got a chance to talk to him. Toys for Tots is important because it helps to provide great holidays for kids who are in need. We think that every kid deserves a toy on this holiday season, and so Toys for Tots allows that to happen. In conclusion, 
Toys for Tots is a very important program that everyone should be involved in. So if you have any toys, please donate them so that children who aren't as lucky this Christmas day have an unforgettable memory of their Christmas gifts. I encourage you to be someone's hero this year and donate to Toys for Tots. This has been Kimmy and Maddie for Maine TV News. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Thanks for that story. One of those reporters looked awfully familiar. Thanks for that amazing job on that story, guys. While on the topic of holidays, during lunch this past week, NHS has been selling candy canes to raise money for the Great Lakes Support Association, which is a charity that works with adults and children with disabilities playing sports. Candy canes will be delivered next week. Please consider buying a candy cane for your friends or your favorite staff member. Also, at lunch today, we will be hosting our first annual supported, supported learning program, Winter Showdown, basketball game against Warren High School. The game will take place today during the lunch hours in the main gym. During the game, it is important that we cheer for both teams and make this an experience that they won't ever forget. Come for the fun and stay for the free giveaways and challenges. Auditions for Mudderline's Theater Group Interpretation of the Perks of Being a Wallfire will take place Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Be sure to sign up to be a part of a production. Information on audition scenes can be found on the group inter page at mudderlinetheater.org. See Mr. Landy or Ms. Gunther for more details or questions. Enjoy it because it's happening. Finally, FBLA had a fundraiser before Thanksgiving to raise money for the March of Dimes. Let's take a look at this story to learn more about it and find out who the lucky winner was. Hello, Mudline Mustangs. I'm Matt Coffin, reporting here from Maine TV. Now, I'm here at the band room where most people come to listen to music, but today we're witnessing something different. As an FBLA officer, we felt this important to raise awareness for March Dimes and premature babies. Uh, we decided to put together baby food and babies to make that connection, and Mr. Surgeon happened to be the lucky teacher who had to eat the baby food. You have to like zoom it around a little bit. <laughs> it's the airplane! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> If I can ask after two scoops, what's your initial reaction on the food? <laughs> it's pretty bad, man. <laughs> uh, I'm regretting filling out that survey. <laughs> what you just witnessed was Mr. Surgeon eating baby food. Let's see what his students had to say about it. It was pretty funny, you know, watching your band director eat band food. Kind of nasty, too. I almost gagged. What was the benefit of participating in this? Oh, it was a great, uh, great event for the school. Not for me in the end, <laughs> but uh, great. And you raise money for the March of Dimes, which is awesome. Something the marching band does at the beginning of the year, so it's good to also contribute in this time. While the food had a terrible taste, the event had a wonderful outcome. That's all for now, Mustangs. Have a great day. Thanks, Matt, for that story. And thanks to Mr. Surgeon for being a good sport and to all who contributed. Well, that's all for today's Friday Focus. Have a good weekend, everyone, and we'll see you next year. 